Hi guys, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to make different flays, 360, 720 and 1440 flay. And for this tutorial, I am going to show you how to attach your interfacing to your fabric and also crinoline to make it stand and give it a standing effect. You can use your 1440 flay, you can use your 360 flay, but for this tutorial, I am going to use the 720 flay. And as you can see, I have my interfacing, and the interfacing I am using for this tutorial is called Color Stay. Now, I have cut out two for my interfacing, and two for my fabric, and also two for my lining. I just followed my pattern and placed it on my fabric and I cut it out as it is. Now lastly, I have my crinoline. This is the crinoline I am going to be using for this tutorial. And I am also going to show you how to attach this to your fabric. Very easy and simple tutorial. Next thing you want to do now is to place your color stay on your fabric on the wrong side of your fabric and iron it and also do the same for the other piece. Next thing I will do now is to attach the good sides of my fabric together by half inch. This way I would have a more fuller flay to work with. And I would also do the same for my lining piece. Now place the good sides of your fabric to your lining. Once I have done that, next thing I'll do is to attach my crinoline to the bottom of my flare right there and i will start laying my stitches and i'll take this to my sewing machine and show you how to do this now i will just go on and stitch by half inch as you can see and make sure you do not put any tension on your crinoline what i mean is don't stretch your crinoline while sewing make sure you don't pull it if you pull it while you sew, you would not like the outcome of the design. It won't come out well at all. As you can see, all I am doing is just stitching and I am applying no tension or stretch to the crinoline. And if by any chance you're sewing and then you notice your crinoline is getting all rumpled up and pulling, you need to change your needle. It means your needle is broken. Now I will just keep stitching and keep going till I get to the other end. Now once you get to the end, just cut it. Now next thing you need to do is open up your lining and your fabric and stitch the rough side on your lining more like you're making it a top stitch on your lining. This will help it to lay flatter when you turn it over now just make sure you open up your lining very well so you don't get your stitches rumpled up at the good side 
as you can see me doing. As you can see, I have a very nice stitch at the good side of my fabric and lining. Now I will just keep going and keep stitching and keep opening up my lining so as not to get my lining cut up underneath the stitches till I get to the end. And now that we are done, we will just turn this over to the good side. Now at this point, you can just go on and place your iron on it and give it a very nice press and at this point you can attach it to your peplum skirts or your upper bodies if you're making a peplum top and whatever it is you whatever design it is you have in mind and this is what the finished look is if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and Please do make sure you like and subscribe and hope to see you in more tutorials. See ya.